it was really terrible uh, on 24th because I was in my bed, I was sleepy. It was like uh, 5.30 and my dad came uh, into my room, made the light on and told, said to me like, um, wake up, the, it is the war. Um, and it was really terrible because internet was silent. Uh, every, everybody were sleeping and they went to, to the TV and there was a running line on TV in which I read the same words, like the Russian invasion of Ukraine has begun and this is a war. And it's terrible. We didn't understand what is it. Did you think that this would happen? No, we, we didn't thought about it. So it was shocked. We, we were shocked and um, and yeah, the first day we didn't understand what to do, what is the war, uh, we didn't understand anything. And um, yeah, and I would like to say that a kilometer from my house were a parking lot of Russian tanks and we heard everything. So the Russian it's horrible. The Russian tanks were right across from your house, is that what you said? Yeah. So we, we heard it and uh, like yesterday we heard there was the first intense um, explosion on um, Saturday evening and uh, uh, then my hands began uh, to tremble with fear really and yesterday afternoon was um, uh, heard machine gun and after two or three uh, explosions uh, not far from my house because uh, the glasses in the window trembled and um, in the evening, it was also an uh, um, air raid alert and everybody went uh, in the basement and it was like uh, last night was really horrible because we spent uh, all night in basement or in house or in basement. So um, I would like to say that the city now has a curfew from 6 p.m. till um, 6 a.m. and supermarkets have uh, groceries, but um it's a line at the checkout uh, like uh, for an hour for an hour yeah and the same is uh, with uh, refills i know about it because i drove with my dad um, to fill up the car and the city of sumi is under ukrainian rule but in my city we have a lot of street fights uh it means that locals who went to the ter territorial defense against the occupiers um, guard the city. And we believe in our army and uh, we believe in our armed force, but it's um, unbearably uh, painful to live this experience of war in 2022 uh, of the 21st century. And it's unbearably to go to bed in casual clothes, to be afraid to take a shower, and to be afraid that um, in the morning you may not wake up, and um, or to be left without a roof over your head, and it is unforgivable. Has anyone in your family taken up arms? Are you guys joining the um, the Are you guys joining the army? My cousin brother. Are you My worried cousin about brother, them? Yeah. Sorry. Are you worried about them? Um, I didn't talk, but I'm really so I'm I'm worried. Of course, we like every morning starts with calling uh, all family in different parts of Ukraine, and we ask like, okay, are you safe? Yes. Was this night good? Yes. So it's okay. And another like uh, goddaughters, godfathers, we call each other. We call our like. Um, family who lives in um, who live in different parts of Ukraine and the every morning starts with this right now. Um, are you guys considering leaving or are you going to stay? Um, stay. Why? Stay in Ukraine, why? Mm -hmm. Why stay? Because I'm Ukrainian uh, citizens and um, now, what can I do? I can speak Ukrainian, I can speak Russian, English, and even German language. And it's my it's my country. I want to protect my country. And this is that I can do right now to speak to the world and to explain what we have here. So, and well, also we don't have opportunity to leave our city because uh, all, um, all exits are blocked. So, no. 
No so opportunity to leave. You can't leave. We cannot leave, no. Are you scared? Um, actually, we are scared when we um, hear some explosion. Um, then yes, really scared, very scared. Uh, but like, like this, this day, yeah, on Monday, the whole day was very quiet. And like, oh, okay, a little bit normal life. I can cook something. I can do something like in internet. But uh, when we hear some explosion, we're really scared. And last night was really terrible. Are, um, so who has control of your city right now? Ukraine still has control, right? Is that what I understand? Ukraine, but the Russians yeah. are there. Yeah. The average American, what would you like to say to them? Just talk about Ukraine, just um, support us like with words, share the information and uh, just pray for Ukraine. It's, it's the most important for us just to know that we are not alone, that all the world knows about it and about Ukraine and about current the situation here. It's, it's important for us.